the well, gentle folk. I'm Kelsey, and welcome back to another Rags to Royalty. I'm so excited to hop back into gameplay. Last episode took us all by surprise. I thought it would be like a quick little remodel, and then it ended up being like the whole episode because this castle just keeps getting bigger. It's not gonna be like little remodels anymore. To make a big castle, it takes a lot of time. So this episode will, I almost think mostly, if not all, be uh, let's play. Don't worry, there's always gonna be let's play on this channel. We just had like a couple little bits of building, but to be honest, I love a good build. So I see a lot of you guys out there love a good build too. It's fun to dip our toe in every once in a while. But anyway, thank you guys for your love on the last video. And if it wasn't for you, no worries, this one's gonna be. So we're back with our girl who is bald. Listen, I've had a lot of issues with this game lately, but I think they're all behind us. Cross our fingers and knock on wood. She's gonna put her hair back on, pull up her bootstraps, get back to work. Trying to find a solution to her curse. All right, our girl is back in her new and improved witch's house. Let's quickly get you into Kaz, girl, and plan your outfit, cause girl needs some hair. There we go, our girl's back. All right, so we're back in it. Our girl probably should go to bed, but she doesn't really need to. But regardless, like, why not? You know, go upstairs and do your bed, sweet girl. She's going upstairs to her new and improved bedroom. If you didn't watch it being built, that's what it looks like. So there you have it. <laughs> no! Oh my God. What happened? We have to go back into Karina's soup. Put all her clothes and her hair back on. I think it was like down, if I recall. I honestly don't truly remember very well. I know her eye color was not brown, right? Or was it? Bro, I don't remember. I think it wasn't. I think it was like a purple. I think that might've been why she looked so different. I was like, what is it about her? Yeah, we're gonna put this guy on. I think I did it in red or something. Yeah, I think it was in red. Get you back to bed, queen. I know you're not tired, but it's 5 a.m. All right, there she goes. Now it's like 7 a.m. It's like an appropriate-ish time to wake up. Then we could go downstairs and maybe like do our daily copy pasta of the wine so we can make up some more money. We could just do this every morning. It's gonna be amazing. Is she hungry? No, she's just still like cursed. So maybe we should go downstairs and I feel like we do need like maybe some books or something or experiment. We could brew some potions. We just need to learn some of these magics that will help us with the curse. So we need to work on our untamed magic a bit. Lavender, oh no, lavender CC is all gone too. Oh, my mom. No, we don't want to go to geek con, but we should probably have her over and fix all of her stuff. We'll maybe do that in the future. <laughs> I just want like one new spell, please. Nope, she did not learn a new spell. She wants to go play in the rain. What if you said that these plants, if they're if they're in the wrong direction, that you can't reach them? And I think that might be what it is. So I hope that that fixes that. The rest of them were fine. She's taking care of her sweet baby. Oh, and our house is almost worth a fourth of her goal of the mansion baron. Wow, we are still so behind, but we got 24 out of 30 windows, so that's kind of nice. She still wants to woohoo in a bush and analyze a book. She doesn't like being outside in the rain, but she did kind of like being outside in general. We could do a little, a little delicioso or a grand delicioso. I don't know what grand delicioso means, but maybe we should do it just for fun. Oh, herb crusted salmon. Let's go grab a serving. Delicious, lunch is served. Look at her sitting in her little chair. Although she's dripping wet, which is a little annoying. And then she wants to go tender garden. Yeah, you should girl. It's not raining on you in here. So I think I'm just gonna delete this bonsai plant. It's bugging me. We're we're gonna sell it for our money. Why don't you go take a bath? Warm yourself up a bit. Yeah, ew, a luxury. Rags to riches. I mean, this feels like riches. One of you said to put the broom down here. Can we like, yes, we can put it on the wall. That's awesome. Okay, we'll do that. I, as the, as Kelsey, am going to invite 
the witch hunter over. Not her. We'll just pretend she didn't do it, okay? I have the most random idea because obviously we're all on the enemies to lovers boat, all right? But in every classic enemies to lovers story, there is a reason that the enemies have to stay together and be around each other a lot in order to become lovers. So I was thinking since he's new to town, he doesn't have lodging and perhaps the king and queen have decided that this local grower who miraculously is having a remodel where she's made a lot of new space in her home, that she should be the one to house the new witch hunter in town. Our girl, you know, cannot deny them. And so we're gonna have a new roommate coming over and it's gonna be Corbin McCreary. And we're gonna have him stay for, let's say six nights for now, starting now. So we got a new roommate. Obviously this is going to harsh her mellow because she won't be able to do any of her magic spells in the house. So we're gonna have to pretend that we're a real gardener. So of course she went right over to research like, yes, yes, I just got off the ye olde telephone, AKA ye olde messenger boy is telling me that he's coming over. Oh my God, there he is. <laughs> he's like, all right, I'll sleep on the couch. There's only one bed guys. It writes itself. So we should, I guess, welcome him and be like, oh, Glad you're here. I, a simple winemaker, welcome you to my abode. There they go. Let's make some small talk, you know, ask, get to know him. We're gonna try to make some, oh my gosh, he's flirty. Is he up a crush on us? Gabriel's inviting us to the magic realm. I've gotta go. Um, My bestie is calling probably about this, but this was so fun. Make yourself at home. It's a wine emergency. I gotta go sell wine in town. We're gonna throw down with Gabriel, our bestie. All right, bring it. Me and my wad have got you on lock. Oh, Gabriel, I think you've been practicing. But she's feeling quite inspired by her magic. Her charge is getting quite intense. I don't really want to be cursed again. Please win this. Oh, she's so, oh, dang girl. Okay, she won that. Let's have a deep conversation with Gabriel. Be like, good job, Gabriel. Oh my God, but we need to tell him the the gossip. Apparently he says he likes Corbin. He's pretty cool. He's like, actually the guy's not bad for being a witch hunter. He's like, okay, apparently Gabriel's a genius. Well, that makes sense. Let's search for some tomes maybe. I don't know. Maybe we could come across a tome that just cures my like thing. And then we won't have to worry about things anymore. Oh, why is the practical magic teacher different? No, that means I'm gonna have to like befriend someone new. Ew, uh, pass. Wait, this is a new sim too. This sucks. Why are they all different now? What happened to all my magical friends? I don't even see them in my friendship. All right, well, we're introducing ourselves to Yuko, who is now the untamed magic girly. Let's flatter her. No, 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 no. Come back here. Come back here. I need to become your friend. We're going to talk about cooking, even though we don't like it. We're going to discuss our favorite authors, discuss interests. We're charisma level four. So in theory, we should be able to charisma the crap out of her. Apparently they had new elections. We were not informed because we're barely a member. We just kind of show up when it's convenient for us. <gasps> She's showing us the magic. Necro call. That's not what I wanted. Summon the dead. Great. That's not at all what I would like to do. Potion of masterful insults. Oh, wait, that might be kind of fun for our enemies to lovers. <laughs> Potion that unlocks that powerful power of animosity. Ooh, okay. All right, well, that doesn't really help me at all. We could try to befriend the other new dude. Let's do a cheerful introduction, see if we get pretty far with that guy. All right, we're gonna chat this guy up now. Oh, he, we got a sentiment. Okay, that might be good. Can we get some practical magic and some potion recipes, please? Oh yes, he's sh showing me some magic. Prance portal move instantly to another location regardless of distance. <gasps> That's gonna be great. Especially if we tell him we're in our bedroom and then we could sneak down to the cellar and not tell our roommate, this is perfect. And then we would like a, a potion, please. Nimble mind crap. There's really just like teasing me here with the curse cleansing one. It's fine, I'm fine. Thank you for your offerings. I guess I could find the third person, ask them for a potion too. Mischief magic might be fun to mess with our new roommate. One of you said it would be fun to prank him. So maybe we do that. Where is she? 
Yeah, I'm not seeing her. She was downstairs originally. There's a no there's a bar? I don't know if I ever knew that this was down here. This is so funny. All right, let's go introduce ourselves, I guess, and see if we can get like her to give me the potion to cure myself. All right, let's go chat with our new friend here. <gasps> wait, I can just magic myself here. Can you do it? <gasps> yes! Okay, wait. Oh, she's pregnant. Hello! You're like, hi, <laughs> that spell's new. I'm pretty proud of myself. Wait, also, why was she at a bar if she was pregnant? We are quite tired. Oh, it's 2 a.m. Dang, okay. We're gonna try to just really fast. Ask to teach potion recipe. Perk purging. Ah, crap. All right, what about mischief magic? Can you teach me like a, your, a first spell? Okay, she's teaching me one spell. So we can do something mischievous at least. Furio, oh, convince two sims to argue and fight with each other. Well, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but it is what it is. We're gonna go home. I bet this man's like, why are you out till 3 a.m. selling wine when you didn't bring any bottles with you? Oh my God, he's still in the house. We're gonna be like, hey, yeah, what's up, man? He, I mean, there's not a lot of rooms for him to go to, so I don't blame him for just standing around in the, in the living room. What? Okay, I know that's like a European thing, but the fact that they just kiss each other on cheeks is kind of adorable. Ask about his day. Catch any witches while I was out? And he was like, no, I haven't actually seen any witchcraft in the area. He might start poking around Gabriel Greengrass. Maybe he like mentioned something about Gabriel and she's like, ooh, uh, yeah. But also it helps if he's not suspecting her. Well, we can't do magic, even though she'd probably want to. So we have to get like normal leftovers for breakfast. <laughs> yep, he's inside, so we can't do magic in front of him. Ah! Sorry, I just screamed. He found our magic tome. It was the first book he un Oh my god. How are we gonna get we need we need to distract him. He hasn't opened it yet. We need to distract him. What do we do? What do we say? Flirt with him! Flirt with him! We give him give him a pickup line. Go girl, go quick, quick before he reads it. Okay, he he barely opened the first page. We've got to move these out. No tomes in the library. Get them all into our inventory. No tomes, no tomes in the library. Yeah, uh, what was that book? I don't know. Oh, they're both immediately flirty. This is so cute. Oh my God, he was like, wow, you really are great. She's like, thanks. I didn't just flirt with you because you almost caught me because I left a tome out. <gasps> It just blew her a kiss. Whoa, mans. We're reeling it in, baby. Oh my God, we got him. We got him. Oh my God, and Harvest Fest is tomorrow. Oh no, we have to spend Harvest Fest with him and he might meet all my whole family. My family also doesn't know that I'm a witch. So like that kind of works out. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to go outside and water my plants. Perfect alibi queen. Let's go and look at him. Look at him walking around and they were roommates. <laughs> I love that I'm so entertained by my own choices. <laughs> you know what, I guess someone's gotta be. Oh, where's he going? He's playing in uh, some trash out here apparently. Oh, he's coming back to chat with us. We're like, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's flirt. He's not just chatting, he's flirting with us. It is on sight for this man. Is free love on? Because I've never had my Sims just start flirting with each other this much. It's not on, they just keep flirting without me touching it. I didn't even tell them to keep flirting. This is so romantic. I'm obsessed. Okay, let's just harvest all our stuff. She's so into him. She's like, oh no, I'm so conflicted. But she can't be her true self with him, you know? So that's kind of sucks. How could he ever possibly understand her? Will, can we harvest any of that? No, she can't reach any of it. That's so annoying. Part of me just thinks then we should just make it like one step bigger. I don't know if that's gonna mess anything up. I don't think so though. There you have it. Okay, and hopefully this means, I'm gonna move this guy over a bit. There you go. <clears throat> hopefully this means that we can reach these items. Let's see if we can do it now. Can you spray area for bugs now? She can! Okay, we just needed like a little bit of wiggle room back here, but that's okay. Yeah, okay, are the bugs still there? Nope, looks pretty good. Oh my God, and she's like, I'm gonna go try it with Corbin. Girl, you you are too much, it's cracking me up. She's like, hey, oh no, he broke her thing. And she could repair it with magic, but she can't because he's here. I guess we gotta go 
repair that without magic. Be like, I'm just a normal girl who repairs things with her hands. This is her first time doing it. <laughs> she's like, I just acquired the handiness skill, but he's in the other room. She's uncomfortable. Yeah, she did not enjoy the repairing. <laughs> I don't really blame her. She's chatting with him again. Don't you have a man, Briar? Wait, does she have a, were they official or no? I forgot. No, they're just lovers. Okay, it's fine. I was like, Frederick who? Okay, and that's the point, all right? So, you know, he was the mister right now. He was not the mister forever. We leveled up in our spell casting. I didn't realize. Okay, what? Look at us. We're almost to the top level. Guys, we're so close to being hexproof. Okay, so we got to do moat hound and then we got to do charge control and then we just need one more. Why are they hugging? Why are they embracing? She's like, I'm gonna go take a nap. Well, this is going weirdly well, but you know, she's technically still dating Frederick. So maybe we should like send a little energized text to him. Ye olde messenger. Let him know we're still around and we're still, you know, thinking about him, I guess. Hi, Briar. I'm feeling pumped too. Let's hit the gym. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go hang out with our other man. I think she's feeling conflicted. Oh no, she's got two. Is this? a love triangle. I don't really want to do our date here though, but maybe we can like end it early and like ask him on a date instead. I think I'll just go to that pub. I bet a lot of you guys are super annoyed about that. We're back with Frederick, but listen, it's part of it, okay? Things can't just go smooth sailing, then there's no story. <laughs> so she's still with Frederick technically, kinda. Maybe he'll ask her to be his girlfriend today, I don't know. And then it will be cheating her flirting with Corbin, but I don't, I don't think we're gonna do that. But let's like, flirt a little bit, chat with him, tell him a joke about penguins as well. We should ask him about Corbin. Be like, do you know Corbin? He's uh, staying at my house. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Corbin, he says. Oh, okay. The pleasure. How fancy. Oh, she wants to give him a massage. Let's uh, order drinks for us. We'll get some, some wine. Now he's talking to another man on our date. Like flipping Frederick. Corbin would never, whatever. We're gonna go order the drinks myself, I suppose. Can we like cheers? We ordered you a drink. We paid for your drink, Frederick. And you're kind of not hanging out with me. Oh, it's ghost night. All right, well, they don't autonomously flirt with each other. They just kind of boring talk. It's almost Briar's birthday. Wait, what the heck? Friday's her birthday. What is she, what is she turning? She's become Coming an adult. She's getting so old. And uh, our dude is just fully not talking to us on our date. He didn't even drink the wine that I got for him. You know who should be here? Should invite Corbin. Crash the date. Crash the date. Pretend we didn't invite him. Corbin's gonna be right over. She's just chatting with a bunch of ghosts. Oh my God, wait. In this save, Vlad's a ghost. Look at that, that's Vladdy Daddy. What happened? I didn't do that. This is a newer save too. That's wild. Vlad's a flipping ghost. I love the books in the in the fireplace. It's so cute. Wait, where's Corbin? Oh, he's coming. He's running over. Look at him go. Okay, at least they're chatting at the bar now, surrounded by death. She she wants to talk about marriage. Oh God, what's he gonna say? He seemed actually into it, which surprises me. I really thought he would say no. Listen to Frederick's question. What was his question? I don't, the fact that he was into marriage marriage with her is suspicious to me. Where is, where is Corbin? But he's running in to go talk to the guy that we're on a date with. Oh, oh my God, are they gonna fight? We could make them fight. We're gonna pretend she didn't do it, okay? He's gonna see this guy flirting with us and it's gonna be on site. I wanna see this fight. What's going on? Oh, he's afraid of the ghost. Oh no, come on, fight him. Well, should we run after him? Oh no, is he okay? Wait, is he leaving? We're gonna go try to console him. Wait, wait, come back. He like saw us on a date and ran out. Come back, Corbin, come back. Oh, dang it. All right, we're gonna run after him. I wanted them to fight. Next time, guys, next time, we'll get him. I don't know why. I thought it worked, but she's gonna run after Corbin and be like, hey, I saw you run out. He looks sad. Why is he so sad? He's terrified. Oh, so they're gonna lay down together and stargaze. This is so romantic. They're laying down to stargaze and make him feel better. If you're enjoying this uh, wild and crazy story, just know that the book that I, I've written that I keep talking about is also an enemies to lovers. <laughs> Although this one is a little less enemies because 
they're enemies in name mostly. I think they'll only become enemies when he finds out what she is. Right now, they're kind of just maybe lovers, but not really friends. I don't know. And she ended the date with someone else. Wait, did he just get us? Something? Opposites attract. Bri Briar has romantic feelings for Frederick, even though they are very different sims. Okay, so Briar caught some feelings for Frederick. Wait, they have bad compatibility? That's hilarious. Yeah, she and Corbin are really mismatched, and yet they seem to be getting along very well. So we're gonna try to console him about his fears. Clearly, he's not into the supernatural. Oh, she was able to console him. That makes me really happy, actually. And we should maybe give him a hug. But the hug lingers like a little too long. Oh my god, he's immediately flirty while being in front of her. He's This man's got a crush. And now he just wants to chat with her. See, they immediately try to chat with each other. And Frederick and her don't. Frederick immediately tries to chat with someone else. What's he doing? He's chatting. This is so romantic. They're just in the darkness. I could just watch them interact all day. Oh, he's saying... He's gonna go, but we're gonna go too. And I'm pretty sure the place he's gonna go is where we're going, which is home to our bed. Girl is a night owl. She's always, it's 1 a.m. now. She's always up late. And she's up kind of early too because she's a gardener. So, so far so good with him staying at our house. He hasn't caught us yet, but he is kind of sniffing around our boy Gabriel. So we might have to go visit Gabriel's house and like let him know that things are going down. We should pillow fight with Corbin upstairs. Ah! He's so into her. She's like, why don't we just go to, to my bed? You don't need to stand around downstairs. Okay, this is a little uncomfortable. Looking away. Girl had her head all the way up his butt. This is a family friendly show, Sims. Uh, but they're gonna sit together and like, they're gonna bring out each other's playful side. We're gonna assign the right side of the bed to Corbin and they're gonna sleep in the same bed tonight. Cause she's gonna be like, there's room. It's a big enough bed. Was I planning this last episode and that's why I put this big bed in there? Maybe. Okay, he's he's writing his notes for the day, I guess. <gasps> Look at him watching her sleep. Okay, very Edward Cullen of you. Can't tell, is, is creepy or sweet? I don't know, but he's going out on, oh, he's going out on the balcony. Oh, and he slept on the balcony. Mans is too sweet. Mans should have slept in the bed with her. Are they not? They're good enough friends. I think he could have done it. And it is officially Harvest Fest day. Where's he going? Is he just like heading out? Well, don't worry. When we're up, we'll all do Harvest Fest together. Now we're gonna just all pretend that the gnomes are not witchcraft, okay? It's like a different thing. He's not gonna be upset with her about the gnomes being at the house, okay? It's gonna just be a normal thing that happens in the Sims world. But what we are gonna mess with is appeasing these gnomes because they'll give us money and and like seed packets and we can always use seed packets. Yay, we appeased a gnome. Okay, let's get downstairs and go take a shower. I can't believe he didn't just sleep in the bed with us. That was so cute. He's coming out, checking out our garden this morning. Is he gonna help in our garden? Shut up. <gasps> he was, he was gonna spray for bugs. What a king. I think he did it too. It kind of glitched, but I think he did it. He sprayed for bugs in our garden. Get you a man who will spray your bugs, man. That is romance. Hopefully he doesn't know that she has like an, a, a magical amulet on her chest. How how much does he know about witchcraft? Let's just, let's just start there. She hasn't done any magic in like a day though. It's so sad. I think she's mad that he's here today because she really wants to do some magic and make money and he's like kind of harshing her vibe. Why don't you maybe go take care of your garden? Let's go uh, give a, a pet to Belle, our chicken. Be like, Belle, oh my gosh, have you seen this man? Oh, Frederick's asking me on a date. He wants to go to the library. Why not? Bye, Corbin, who we're low-key mad at for, some, for no reason. What's up, Frederick? Happy harvest fest, should we be thankful with him? Where's he going? Do not tell me he's just abandoning us out here. Gabriel's like, I heard he became friends. No, he's not. He just ran away from us though. Let's go be thankful with him. Run back around. Oh, she's got a good reputation. Well, that's nice. They just became good friends. All right, let's go sit together on this couch and chat a bit. Enjoy our date together at this library. Oh. They just got a sentiment. They're, they're fun to be around. Oh, I'm glad they're having a nice date. You know, I feel like she's been feeling closer to him. He mentioned that he wants to get married someday. She's feeling like, you know, 
Corbin was just a distraction. Frederick is who she's meant to be with. Frederick is the one that would accept her for who she is. So maybe she's considering revealing her magic to Frederick and seeing if he truly loves and accepts her. I don't know if she's gonna do it in, in, in this date, but she's thinking about it while he's in the bathroom. Can we like just study our tomes here? He's definitely gonna catch you if you do it like that though. I forgot that she just like magically lets it hover. Girl, stop, 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 stop. Okay, woo! He didn't even see you. Perfect. They're having a nice little suggestive conversation. She still wants to woohoo in a bush. Maybe they should. They're gonna talk about marriage again. They're getting really serious. I didn't even ask them to talk about marriage. Is there a woohoo bush nearby? There is. I think they should woohoo. Oh, he rejected her. Don't woohoo this man that just said he doesn't really wanna marry you. Okay, well, she's going to. All right, well, we're gonna woohoo. Oh, look, a cat. Are you a stray? <gasps> She's a stray cat. Wait, why are there stray cats? There's also Mayor Whiskers. Okay, she's, are they really woohooing? Yep, they are. He just smacked her in there. Well, our girl's getting uh, a little serious with Frederick. Look at you, squee. I know one of you said we should get a pet, but they should be kind of an unusual pet, like a raccoon or a... Uh, Fox, I think it'd be really cute for her to have a fox. So as much as I want to just scoop up all those strays and take them home, I think it might be fun if she actually got a fox to go with her chicken and her fish. All right, well, Briar and Frederick just woohooed on their date. So they're certainly getting very serious. And look, the dude, they just woohooed. He went and sat down on the computer. You know what? I'm canceling this date. Screw you, man. You didn't even come to say hi. That was nice time, I'll call you maybe. That's my last draw for him, but I think she's still pretty smitten. That is unfortunate, but we're going home back to our witch hunter. But I think in her heart, she's made her choice, even though they had the most magical night together the night before. Anyway, let's harvest, let's get to our uh, gardening. We need to go work on our gardening and then invite our parents over. I don't know what this gnome wants. What do you like, salad? I think it's salad is my guess. Yeah, got him. Well, let's invite our parents over. <laughs> we'll probably give them their hair back. Should we get like a book? What was he reading? Lord of the Swings. Oh my gosh, they both like fantasy. Wait, this is so romantic. He's grabbing a book too and sitting down. Oh, my heart's breaking a little bit. There, there's our dad coming over. Bald as the day he was born. She's feeling flirty. Is it because he's around? No, first woohoo, date success. She's still thinking about the other guy. Okay, well, here's Archer. So I guess we'll uh, quickly give him a bit of hair. Oh yeah, he had like old, he had like older face stuff and he had like a salt and pepper hair kind of vibe. Something like this. Not that one though. Is it this one? I think it might have been this one. It doesn't quite look the same, but I think it's okay. And then Lavender, sweet baby girl, had the CC eyelashes. And then she might have had freckles across her nose. And then she probably had the long custom content hair. I'm pretty sure it was like a specific one I remember. It was a clumsy alien one. This one. There she is. But oh wait, I gave her shorter hair to make her look older. That's right. And we did, I think I still did Clumsy Alien on it though. I think we did this one. Yep, and that's mom. Okay, perfect. A lot of you did point out that I think she did have an older brother. Like they had a son first. I forgot about it to be honest, So, but I'm gonna pretend it is a plot device that there's a reason why we haven't heard about the son in a while. So at some point I will figure it out and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> Or you guys, if you have an idea for why we haven't heard from her brother and why he seems to be not a member of the family or estranged, uh, you guys let me know. But let's go save and manage worlds. All right, but our girl is about to have Harvest Fest with her family and this man that she has a huge crush on, but she's convinced herself that she's actually prefers to be with someone else. I'm gonna leave this one right here because I think this will be a perfect thing to start off next episode with. Let me know your guys' thoughts for the plot and also what kind of additions to the home we should be having. She didn't make nearly as much money in this episode, mostly because we had a certain person slowing us down. But I think by next episode, we might be able to add on at least one room or like one expand one area. So give me your suggestions for that. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.